This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Citadel Ultra High Security Bike Lock. This is a really interesting lock to me for at least two reasons. First, this is to my knowledge the very first bike you lock using a round shackle design. And that of course is what you'll find on most modern counterparts. Second, this Citadel lock bears the name of my own college alma mater, the Citadel. And in honor of that institution, I am wearing my class ring for today's video. Now the history of this lock is actually pretty interesting. It started as a class project at MIT's business school in 1972. I have to wonder if it's a coincidence that that was the year that Kryptonite introduced its first lock, especially considering that they were geographically very close by. Kryptonite was in Boston, and MIT was right across the Charles River in Cambridge, Massachusetts. A graduate student by the name of Ray Seekin led a design project to make a bike lock. This Citadel lock is not what resulted. The MIT team came up with something that, frankly, you'd expect from students. It secured the bike very well, but was too big, too heavy, and way too expensive. But it did get Ray thinking about how to secure bikes, and when he graduated, he founded Citadel, which would become Kryptonite's main competitor for several years. This of course is Citadel's lock. It was introduced, I believe, around 1976. As you can see, it has the same U-lock design as Kryptonite's then patented product, so to get around that, Citadel used round bar stock rather than flat bars in its construction. If you want to see the flat bar kryptonite, I featured it in video 663, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. The Citadel has a half inch thick hardened steel shackle that is covered in rubber to make sure you don't scratch your bike up, and that shackle locks into this solid steel lock body on just one side with a ball bearing. Everything is secured by a 7-pin tubular core, and this core, I believe, was made by the Fort Lock Company in Chicago. Now, before we pick this open, I should note that Citadel locks are still made today, but they're made by Abus, which I've been told bought out the brand, though I've been unable to find anything about that in the corporate histories there, so I'm not entirely sure if that's true. Okay, on to picking. Like most tubular locks of the day, this Fort Gem core is very susceptible to self-impressioning. Now, back in the 1970s, self-impressioning tools like this were not as cheap and readily available as they are today. So when I picked the 1974 Kryptonite in video 663, I decided to single pin pick it. But a whole bunch of you asked that I show how modern tools work on these old locks, so that's what we're going to do today on this Citadel. I'm using a tubular lock impressioning tool that I got from Tool, the open organization of lock pickers. I'm not sure who makes this for them. I recently picked this up and it seems to be working fairly well. So let's see if we can get this open. And there we go. As you can see, that did not take very long. So while by today's standards, this this Citadel ultra high security lock is frankly not very hard to open. Back in the 1970s, this was actually something special. It could give the kryptonite locks a run for their money. And frankly, I think they are the model for many of the locks made today. So that's all I have for you on this Citadel ultra high security lock. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.